Hello. San Malagum, everybody. Today is the day we are finally flying to Borneo. We have been in KL for around one and a half weeks now. We should be meeting up with our Canadian friends that we met in Bangkok on our previous Asian trip back in 2019. Two of which we have met and we traveled with. One of which uh, I have met unofficially and the other two we have not met, but we are looking forward to meeting them. Our flights are half one and naturally we're late. Uh, so we really need to get a move on. Uh, as you can see, we're both carrying our homes and our offices on our backs. Our bags are very, very heavy. Uh, way too heavy for the carry-on and too big for the carry-on. So I guess we'll see what happens. Is it, do you pr pronounce that ka-ching? Ka-ching. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention before is we're flying into Kaching. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it properly, but that's where we're going. I always keep saying how I'm not built for exercise, yet somehow me and Luke always keep getting dragged into actually doing exercise. <laughs> our flight now uh, I really hope they don't spot that our bags are way too big but now we're about to find out Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, nobody said anything about our bad. So you guys, hopefully. You guys going to Red Bull Music Festival? The what? Sorry? You guys going to Red Bull Music Festival? The Rainforest Music yeah, Festival. literally the last person to board the foot of the plane. Yeah. In this video, we arrive in Borneo, and our first priority is to find a hotel, which is normally a pretty straightforward task, but today it was proving to be a real challenge for two reasons, one of which we were lied to, and the second, the Rainforest Music Festival was on, which we didn't know about prior to this. But here is a quick tip for boarding planes. I always try to make sure I'm the last on board so I can choose my seat. This works near enough every time and for long haul flights it's a real lifesaver. I do this for pretty much every flight and I don't think anybody has ever said anything. Not that I can remember anyway. And most of the time you can get an entire road to yourself, which in this case I had done. And I chose to spend the flight editing one of my videos. But for long haul flights, you can completely lie down and sleep much easier. We finally arrived in Borneo. Uh, a lot of people on the plane kept talking about this rainforest uh, music festival. So we'll have to actually look into that. But it seems pretty good. What do you think, Mr. Luke? Going to a rainforest music festival. Uh, sounds interesting. I did want to go to Borneo for the actual landscape and stuff. I do agree, I would definitely like to try and get in the countryside more. I want, the reason why we come here was to go into the f***ing jungle yeah, and this stuff. Is gonna be, I th this is probably going to be no different to like Kuala Lumpur realistically. Yeah, I the know. The feeling of it anyway. But I want to go into the actual f***ing jungle. Yeah. Because we might as well, that's why we're here. We've spent enough time in cities I and gone on enough for a nice hour. <laughs> the last thing we need is to go to a f***ing music festival. I mean, we will probably with the <laughs> and stuff, but we do need to do the other stuff. Yeah, uh, I found some hotels, 
on here for 16. This is this seems to be like the main area. Then we'll go to the main area. There also seems to be this bit here. I don't really know what the difference is. Let's have a look on Google. Oh, let's see how I basically judge every location. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 let me get that for the camera. Bars, nice. It's usually a pretty good indicator on where the busy places yeah, are. Yeah, that's true. I don't look at bab shops and stuff. Yeah, food comes second. It's 90% of our diet. After having a quick look for hotels on booking.com, uh, we still haven't found anything, but we'll get a taxi into the main main area and actually look at them properly because all the listings on, on booking and stuff all lie. So we'll go there physically and actually look. And half the time it's cheaper just to pay in cash at the actual hotel. It feels weird that I'm not absolutely knackered. Does, because every it? time we get a flight, we're just absolutely yeah. exhausted. But our sleeping pattern has been really good recently. No, it's not through... Uh, we don't deserve any credit for that, by the way. <laughs> we cycled our sleeping pattern that badly that eventually it just got good. Oh, a proton. Wait, how much is this then? On uh, booking? Nine pounds on booking. It's nine pounds on booking. Yeah. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna ask how much it is in cash. Expect it to be 48. 48. 48 ring but or less. Really. 48 or less. Yeah, right. The first challenge is actually getting in the building. Yeah. Is somebody actually in here or yeah. here she is? Hello. Hello. Oh. Uh, uh, no, we don't have a booking. We were just wondering how much it is. Oh, fully booked. Huh? Fully booked. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's fine. Right. Uh, Alright, thank you. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Thank you. What happened to my... Yeah. Uh, I mean, you could try and book on the app, but what if they are fully booked? Well, oh. are we going to get a refund? I don't even think there would be a spot on here. I think. Yeah, right, yeah. just do it then, see what happens. To quickly add some context, we saw the hotel listing on booking.com, but when we turned up to the hotel, the lady said it was fully booked. But we had our suspicions, as I said on the app, there were still rooms available. So we were thinking about just booking it on the app. It seemed to be the only available room in the area because of the music festival, hence why we wanted okay. to stay there. Uh, oh yeah, it does look a bit shut. So it looks a bit stabby. You might get stabbed. <laughs> Goldsmith. 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 Oh, guest house. Any problem with this man? Because we have no idea what the price is. Well. Yeah, that's true. Maybe they're on booking or or something. Oh wait, spot on. Where is this thing? Wait. It's pretty spot on. Yeah, more than one spot. It's a f Why? Drop a cigarette. No. His window is closed. But the cigarette is not. All right. I didn't drop anything. Is there more than one spot on or something? Nah, Why are you saying that? Was, that was definitely it. Oh, right. Attention to all... To all value guests, for your safety and uh, please wear a mask before entering, thank you. This also looks a bit stabby. What? Thank you. Yeah, 
Seems like a very weird uh, system they have here. Uh, say, say that again, sorry. 60. Yeah, 60, that's right. That's what I meant. Okay, alright, thank you very much. I'll let you know. Thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go get some food first and then I'll, uh, I'll put a message for you back if I decide. I'll let you know exactly what you're Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, 60. How much is that? The normal money? It's like. 11 pounds and 11 pounds. That's pretty cheap. Yeah, I don't really want to share a bed every day. Oh, it's a double bed? Yeah. Oh, right. F*** that though. There's plenty, plenty of places. We should be back if we have double beds. Sure. Uh, so, me and Luke have uh, gone to like four different hotels now. And they're all fully booked because of this rainforest music festival that everybody seems to be banging on about. On the plane and in the airport, different people asked me if I was going there. Uh, so clearly it's a thing. The first bit of wildlife I've seen in Borneo. Not quite the wild cats I was expecting, but it's something. But yeah, I was expecting the, uh, the airport to be uh, an airstrip in the middle of the jungle. And me and Luke sleeping in a, in a wooden hut, surrounded by <laughs> But that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, it's subway's there. What did you get, Luke? Uh, I got a cookie. You got a cookie, you got it? Yep, I'll oh, do it. I guess it's two cookies, huh? Uh, two cookies, yeah. You don't get any sandwiches or anything? Nope, no sandwiches. No sandwiches. No, it's very nice. Well, our first meal in Borneo isn't quite what I was expecting. The mosquito. Wasn't quite what I was expecting. I got a subway. I was expecting to have a leopard on a stick tonight, to be honest. I got a foot long steak and cheese subway. I got extra onion on both sides. And on the one side, I got honey and mustard. Now on this side, I got honey and mustard. And then on this side, I got uh, cheese sauce, barbecue and mayonnaise. And a double chocolate chip cookie. I can see Luke eyeing out my cookie. Keep, keep your hands off, Luke. <laughs> so, complete. we've just booked the, uh, we just booked the hotel room that when we turned up to in person, they said it was fully booked. But hotels do this uh, and I don't know why. So we booked on booking.com. We're gonna go back there and see if they are actually fully booked or not. Because for some reason they do this. There's not much raw and organic about this. I've only got three percent, Luke. So hurry up, yeah. I take my time. You won't have to watch me eat this. Yeah. Mmm. Tastes like ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. Nice. My GoPro ran out of battery, so this is filmed using my phone. But we are currently standing in the reception of the hotel that was supposedly fully booked. The lady is processing our booking, which is strange, because she definitely said there was no rooms available. After we got let in, she tried putting us in a double bed, which wasn't the correct room on the booking. Okay, thank you very much. You want me to show you? Where's the coffee and tea? Uh, no, it's alright. It was supposed to be a coin room, like two beds. Uh, look at it. Uh, oh. So you did you ask for this one or you? We asked for two beds. We are here in the Yangu Cafe. Oh, yang kosong lima tidak ada orang. It's full. Ah. So I uh, thought, what about? But that's another room we definitely know is available. As it turns out, there's a few more completely empty rooms. The guy showing us the room didn't actually work there. He was just a friendly resident. But in the end, it all worked out. The place seemed nice enough, and the lady seemed pretty friendly. We spent a few nights here while the festival was on, which we ended up going to. Here? Good. Okay. Good one. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here. Okay, thank you very much. Come. Oh, thank you. Uh, you're on the... oh. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. 
Okay. Are we gonna address the elephant in the room? The fact that we just checked in and got a room after she said it was fully booked? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they must have kicked everyone out. That's yeah, weird. maybe. That's two rooms we know are completely empty. Yeah, after she just told us it was fully booked outside. Really? Yeah. I don't know why.